Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this think tech commentary. This commentary is entitled, If Voting Won't Fix It, What Will? We should be quite concerned about the direction of our democracy. Government's failure is a five alarm fire now. The rights we have had are being taken away from us. Protests and postings over Roe v. Wade, gun control, the environment, and of course January 6th will not fix this. Pressuring Joe Biden won't do it. There are limits to his power, focus, and leadership. And aggravating yourself about Trump's machinations won't help. Likewise, talking to your friends in the bubble and echoing the opinions you hear on cable news won't fix it either. Over and over again, they tell us that the only way to fix things is to be sure to vote, and frankly that means voting the Democratic ticket and against Trump and his co-conspirators. But in November, exactly how feasible and how successful will that be? Gerrymandering, voter suppression, and untrustworthy voting officials, as well as laws that would allow them to change the popular vote at will, are terrifying. These things lead to hijacked elections, disaffection, and complacency. It's happening in plain sight in a frightening number of states, and there's very little we can do about it. There are some limited bright spots where some bad guys might be indicted, but overall what has happened is so outrageous so toxic that we don't want to think about it or spend the time finding an antidote to deal with it. For the most part, the GOP landmines are already in place, and it is not likely they'll be defused by November. As John Paul Sartre said, the die is cast and the game is up, and indeed it really is. There will certainly be litigation about these landmines, but there's no guarantee of the outcome. That litigation will probably go on and on, with Trump-like appeals on everything they lose. And if our Supreme Court gets its hands on these voting issues, we already know what they will do. We have to run so many gauntlets before our votes will count, and before we can have a representative government again. A democratic landslide is not likely, and winning without a landslide this November is not guaranteed at all. The only thing guaranteed here is chaos, and it's not clear what we can do to recover from it. The tools to recover, that is, the rule of law, civil liberties, voting rights, and freedom of expression, along with an independent media and judiciary, will have been further undermined by the chaos itself. We are witnessing the end of the great American experiment, and for that matter the great American dream. No one, not even the founders, anticipated this. We are in the proverbial calm before the storm. The reality will crash in on us in November. And in the January that follows, we will have even more impossible challenges trying to hold our country together. We can expect some life-changing surprises when these time bombs go off. We may have to rely on the distant hope that rationality, good faith and honesty will somehow return to the GOP and the country, but that's a long shot. These are the times that try our souls and make us want to migrate to somewhere else, far away from the matting crowd. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this think tech commentary. Aloha.